Hey guys, so it's Shamani Deluxe. stand-up videos and I just didn't feel like sitting down because if you know y'all it's been a while I still have not set up my home studio because since the time me and Q moved in together officially I still have not gotten gotten the time to set up my home studio being pregnant and the whole nine y'all the whole nursery and all that stuff make this video on what is in my hospital bag so Let's get straight to it. So guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Maybe it's already here, but I just didn't want to just jump in back on YouTube, just jump in and just doing whatever, whatever. I want to start from where I left, left off at. All right, so let's just get into this video. Okay, guys, so you might hear baby in the background grunting because he is working on some gas. <laughs> okay, so this is what was in my bag excuse that bag over there because yeah laundry so this was in my bag i actually did not use this bag i used a different bag at the time but we're just gonna go with that so what i have laid out here right now i have a blanket some pads and i will go over why I put everything in my bag, but let's just have an overview of what exactly is in the bag. My blankets, my pads, my wallet, some slippers, my iPad, my charger, my headphones, two pajama gowns, my sports bra, some sweatpants, of course, to go home with, and then a t-shirt and a sweater, whatever you feel comfortable to go home in. My, my perfume my lotion which i always have more than one lotion which i don't have on hand right now some lip gloss some carmax deodorant brush also a bar of soap and toothbrush some toothpaste i also bought some sanitizer wipes some hand sanitizers some cleaning things when i'm there because we're ocd family so yeah this is what i have so far okay so of course you need your outfit that you need to go home in and I chose a sports bra because I don't have a nursing bra so I chose a sports bra because it would be more comfortable for me because I prefer sports bras. Whatever you prefer to go home in, of course. My blanket, of course. I am a blanket person. If you don't know me, I'm really a blanket person. I love wearing, love having blankets, taking home blankets and I just love freaking blankets. I just don't know why. Um, pads. Um, didn't need pads at the hospital. I'm sure pad, they give you pads at the hospital, but just in case when I want to go home and feel more comfortable, you know, they give you pads, but I still just bought more pads, of course. So, yeah, just in case. Um, my two nightgowns, of course. One is, let's just open that up. My mom bought this. I didn't actually have this gown when I was in the hospital. I had a different gown when I was in the hospital mama needs a vacation and this is not the shirt to the pants but we're just gonna pretend that shirt to the pants and this is actually what i wore after i delivered my beautiful baby boy this is actually what i wore so yeah that my wallet for identifications important stuff money insurance card for a little baby all of that nine eleven air some slippers of course because you have to be comfortable even though they give you the little footsie socks which i really enjoy to walk around in. but i wore these and my ugg slippers which was very comfortable for me then my i bought my charger some headphones just in case um i needed to listen to music to relax or to um answer phone calls whatever you just know why you, you know why you need headphones my ipad to record some footage which I actually didn't even get a chance to because that was on my freaking mind. Then some lotion and some perfume. You know, you gotta smell good. You gotta be right after. You gotta make yourself feel comfortable with that. Bed Bath & Beyond, get it, get it while it's hot, you know, you know. Some lip gloss, which I didn't actually wear my lip gloss. 
I didn't wear a lip gloss. But I showed her how I did put some CarMax on 24-8. I'm telling y'all, when I was in labor, I literally had the CarMax in my hand, which I will talk about in my labor and delivery video. I had CarMax in my hand while I was in, while I was almost in labor until so they told me, take that shit out of your hand. That's when I dropped it. But I used CarMax. It was like a must. My lips were continuously dry. It kind of helped me battle with my nervousness and my anxiousness. So yeah, CarMax was on deck, like for real. Some deodorant to make myself even some deodorant, you know. You gotta keep the deodorant on deck. A brush, I definitely did keep a brush. I wasn't like a diva, like people thought I would be for my labor and delivery. I was so regular, my natural hair, brushing and ponytail. My mom braided up, brushing and ponytail. She did my hair, so yeah, that's exactly why you may need a brush or a comb. My toothbrush, of course, some toothpaste. So yeah, a lot of this stuff they they already already may have at the hospital for you. Like pads, they're definitely gonna have. I will do another video on what I actually used in my hospital bag and what was actually there because these are things that I did put in my bag before I went went to the hospital because my hospital bag was already made and on hand. So these are just things that was in my bag already. So. Not exactly the same products, but these were in my bag. Like, this is the just of my bag. But I will do another video on what I actually had in my bag and what did I actually use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed what exactly was in my bag. I know a lot of people really overpack and I really don't feel like it was really, it's really necessary. But it's a slight, slightly a few things that I put in my bag that um, I actually wound up getting more things from my home. <laughs> which is kind of crazy because um, we actually live like less than five minutes away from the hospital. So that was very neat. But I actually added some things to my bag on my way home, y'all. So I'll tell you guys all the tea in that next video on what I actually use and what I got from the hospital. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it really helps you out. Definitely do not overpack, but do not underpack. If you do bring things that you're comfortable with, but also remember you have to drive those things back home with a baby depending my situation was quite different because my baby didn't come home exactly when i went home but yeah just just think ahead that you have to carry a baby home you have to carry his stuff home yeah 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 you may not want to do that but if you do go ahead shoot your shot so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i see you guys in my next freaking one let's get these videos out there let's give me a thumbs up comment and tell me what you had in your baby bag like tell me what you had in. i mean tell me what you had in your hospital bag um tell me what you would put in your hospital bag um if, if you're not a mom you know even if you're not expecting or anything i just would want to know what things do you think were necessary in my bag? What things you thought was unnecessary in my bag? You know, and tell me what you had in your hospital bag. What was quite different? Did you overpack? Did you underpack? Comment below. And I'll see you guys in my next freaking one. <laughs>